Hello, my dear human beings. Okay, wow, this is my first time ever doing a video in my car. I officially feel like an American vlogger. Never thought I'd see this day when I was living back in Tokyo, taking the train everywhere. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very, very excited. This is gonna be my first outing since being back here in California. And where other would I go than the Holy Land? Daiso. As y'all know, Daiso is like the Japanese dollar store and luckily since I live here in Southern California, we do have a couple. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys. As you know, I made some Daiso videos when I was living back in Tokyo. So it'll just be fun to kind of compare. I will say the one here is like much larger, very spacious. But yes, I need to pick up a couple things. I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. So yeah, without further ado, let's go to Daiso. Still can't do a transition for the life of me. Just throwing a hand Montana one right here. <laughs> So I made it to one of the Daisos here in San Diego and I love this one because of how spacious and organized it is. In Japan, everything is priced at 100 yen but everything here will be $1.50. So after walking through the door, I was immediately drawn to this adorable panda which happens to be a ceramic humidifier. And of course, every time I come to Daiso, I have to scope out the Sanrio section. And I think I was really lucky the day that I came because they must have gotten in a new shipment because these aisles were stocked. Sanrio items are obviously very popular, so they tend to sell out rather quickly. And I was happily surprised to see this My Melody and Kuromi makeup pouch because this is actually the same one I got in my last Daiso haul from the store in Harajuku, Tokyo. I also recognize these Frappuccino keychains from the stores in Japan, so it was really cool to see them here in the US store. Also, I just love that Daiso sells really practical everyday items that happen to be adorable. So I straight up fangirled in this section because they had so many Ninakuma items and I actually never saw these in the Daisos in Japan. Like look at these cute little air fresheners! Also, if you are a stationary junkie, you need to get your butt to Daiso. They have such a wide selection, everything is cute, and it's all $1.50. I wish they had this store back when I was still in school because I would have been doing all of my back to school shopping here. My heart also stopped a little bit when I saw how many Didakuma stickers they had. Honestly, I picked up a few. And also, hello, this entire wall of sanitary products? Bye germs! Also, I have never seen this character before, Koro Koro Koronya. It just looks like Didakuma as a cat and I'm kind of in love. <laughs> I also noticed they were nearly sold out of this product. It looked like a mystery keychain box, which are really popular in Japan. You don't know which one you're gonna get until you open the box, but this one was $5. Daiso also carries a pretty good amount of artificial plants, like little succulents, vines, and I saw this new like hanging pathos plant. They also have an entire section for gardening, if that's what you're into. And I personally like to check out their craft section. This is where I get my sewing kits, extra buttons, and whatnot. They also have tons of storage and organization products. And I could not get over these magnets. I wish I had my own place so I could cover my entire fridge in them. They are so kawaii. And speaking of kawaii, they had a decent amount of plushies. I believe pretty much all of these are over $1.50. And this particular one just stole the show for me. He looks like a baby seal kiwi. Um, I still don't really know. Comment below what you think he is. When I was living in Japan, I bought most of my kitchen items from Daiso. I would always buy packs of sponges there, like this one comes with 12. I also had these storage bag clips. In case you forgot what day you opened a bag of chips or something, you can set the date on these. Also, this wall of furry little friends was so cute. There were bags, little pouches, and these ones were super cool. If you unzip them, they turn into reusable eco bags. 
And y'all, look at these pastel bunny soap dishes. I would honestly just get this for the decor. <laughs> So Daiso also has a pretty big beauty section, but some of the items seemed a little questionable. <laughs> but they had a lot of great deals. I love these simple circle mirrors, and they even had some with trays and lights. I also really liked these desk organizing drawers. They looked like something you would find at the container store, but for a lot cheaper. Then I made my way over to the dishes. If you're moving out for the first time and need some dishes, Daiso has a lot of great simple ceramics as well as really cute Japanese style dishes. Like I fell in love with these teapots and now I will forever associate tea with Uncle Iro. Daiso also sells quite a bit of food. They mostly have Japanese snacks and sweets. They had my childhood faves, Koala's March and Mango and Strawberry. They also had a really fun Pocky flavors and I was super impressed because back in the day we could only get the basic chocolate ones in the US. They also had an entire wall of haichus and their Japanese drinks reminded me of the konbinis back in Japan. 